Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite fall lipsticks. As you guys know, fall is my favorite season of the year and one of the reasons why is because I love berry lips and I love rocking really dark lips and I would do it any time of the year, but I feel like fall is a time that anyone could get away with it. It's just such a fun time to experiment with colors, so I'm going to go from kind of my dusty rosy pinks all the way up to my really dark vampy shades for my bold girls. So let's go ahead and jump on in because I have a lot to show you guys. So like I said, I'm gonna start off with my more mauve shades first. And the first one is this Maybelline Color Whisper in the shade Lust for Blush. It's just a really pretty pinky mauve shade. And I love these color whispers because they wear so nicely on the lips and they're not too opaque. So if you're someone that's new to wearing lipstick, these are a great way to get started. Like I said, it's just a really pretty mauve pink shade and I think this is great for every day. Next is another Maybelline lipstick, and this is in the shade Pink Me Up. I love this shade as well for every day. It's just a really pretty kind of dusty rose shade, and this is really similar to the one before it. It's just more opaque. So there you can see Lust for Blush is first, and then Pink Me Up is below it, so they're really, really similar. So if you want more of a sheer finish, go for the Whisper, and then if you want more of an opaque finish, then go ahead and go for the lipstick. Next is Max Twig, and I use this in my Modern Matte tutorial. This is very much so a kind of Kylie Jenner-esque color. It's a mauve that has really pretty brown undertones in it. So there is Twig, and I feel like this is a must-have for anyone in their fall collection. Next is a lipstick that only makes it to my vanity during fall season. It is Milani's Teddy Bear. This is a very brown lipstick, and I usually do not gravitate toward these colors unless it's fall time. So there is Teddy Bear, and I usually pair this with really gold looks on my eyes. Now we're moving into berry colors, and I'm going to start with the one that I have on my lips, and I feel like is the perfect berry shade. It's Uptown Mauve from Milani. This is actually my second tube of this lipstick, so that tells you a lot because I do not finish lipsticks very often. Like I said, I feel like this is just the perfect berry shade. It goes with so many different skin tones and so many different eye looks. So here's Uptown Mauve. Like I said, I wear it with so many different eye looks. Right now, I'm wearing it with this mauve eye and I love it. And most days, I'll just do a wing liner and I'll be out the door. My next lipstick is Blissful Berry by Maybelline. This is a lot like Uptown Mauve. It just has a little bit more purple to it, but it doesn't come off as scary as it does in the tube. So there is Blissful Berry. You can see it just has a little bit more purple in it than Uptown Mauve. So it's just a little bit deeper, but I love this shade. Next is another shade that I just feel like I wear all the time in the fall, and it is Milani Sangria. It's a really deep purple shade, and this is really similar to Rebel in my opinion. And Rebel is like $18, and I believe these are like $6 at the drugstore. So if you didn't want to splurge on the Rebel, this is a great alternative. I love these lipsticks. They wear so well on the lips. So here is Sangria. Like I said, I just love this shade, so I'm probably going to be using this in an upcoming tutorial. I have a few reds to share with you guys. I love to do kind of a deeper red in the fall, and this one is new to me, but I'm already completely obsessed with it. It's from Maybelline's new matte collection, and this is the shade Siren and Scarlet. But these lipsticks apply so evenly on my lips. A lot of times matte lipsticks can be kind of patchy. These are so smooth and they last forever, so I feel like I'm gonna be talking about these for a long time but you can see just on this watch on my hand just how creamy this is. So there's Siren and Scarlet. You can see seriously how creamy that is for a matte lipstick. I'm going to be wearing this all the time. Next is Max Ruby Woo. This is probably not a surprise to very many of you. I'm obsessed with this lipstick. I wear it all the time. It's a beautiful red and it has those blue undertones that are just going to make your teeth look nice and white. So I love this lipstick. So here's Ruby Woo. I love the shade so much, but you can see these two are quite similar. This one is drier in formulation, but the color is pretty close. My last red is also a matte finish, and it's NYX Alabama. I love this color. This is just kind of that perfect vampy color without being too dark. So there is Alabama. You can see it's quite a bit darker than the other two, but it's just so beautiful for the fall time. The last three lipsticks are for my girls that love a dark, bold, vampy lip. And the first one is NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Licorice. My best friend got this for me for my birthday and I've just been so anxious to wear this because my birthday's in July and I was like, mm, maybe I should not wear this right now. But you better believe that I'm going to be wearing this lipstick a ton this fall. These butter lipsticks are so creamy when you apply them and a lot of the lighter shades were not super pigmented, but this one is really nicely pigmented and it wears for a really long time. 
So there is Licorice. It's just such a really pretty dark shade. And you can see how creamy the formula is on those lipsticks. Next is another Maybelline lipstick from their matte line. And this is in the shade Divine Wine. And it's really true to the name. It's just a beautiful dark wine shade. And seriously, I'm so obsessed with this formula of these lipsticks, you guys. I need to go get all the other colors. So here is Divine Wine under Licorice, and you can see Divine Wine has just a little bit more of a red undertone, and Licorice is more purple. My last lipstick is another dark wine shade, and it's definitely a bold lipstick, but it's just so beautiful. It's Max Diva, and I used this in my last tutorial. I'm just obsessed with this color. It's so, so pretty. This one is also a matte lipstick. I feel like whenever I do dark lips, I'd rather have a matte finish than a really shiny finish. I don't know, that's just my preference. But I like to have a matte finish on my dark lips and this one just has everything that I want. So there is Diva down here. It is seriously my favorite. So if you are going to splurge on a fall lipstick, I would definitely say go for Diva. So now that we've covered all of my favorite fall lipsticks, I'm going to go over three things that will ensure that you have a beautiful application for those dark lipsticks. And the first is a lip exfoliator. And I love this one from e.l.f. It's like $3 and it's my favorite because it's so easy to use. You don't have to like dip your finger in a pot or anything like that. It's already in a lipstick form so you just rub it on your lips and it gets rid of any dead skin that you have so that your lipstick applies nice and evenly. Next is a good lip brush and this one is from Sigma. It's just a little one that I keep in my purse. And these are great because it helps you with applying your lipstick and not getting it all over the place because once you get a dark lipstick on your skin, it's really hard to hide. But if you do get it on your skin, which we all do every once in a while, just take a small concealer brush. This one is from Real Techniques and it's their detailer brush. And put a little bit of concealer on it and just go around those edges and it'll help make everything look nice and clean. And that's it for my favorite fall lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you have a favorite fall lipstick that you did not see in this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below because you guys know I love me a good fall lipstick. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!